my name is Luis Perez, and I am a first year master's student pursuing an MA in mathematics at San Francisco State University. First year master's students in the Department of Mathematics at San Francisco State do not usually engage in research with a professor until the summer after their first year or their second year. This is why I will be presenting on a research project I worked on as an undergraduate, which recently led to my first publication. It is because of this research project that I discovered my mathematical research interests in discrete mathematics, where I'm currently working with Dr. Matthias Beck through an independent study and hope to soon start working towards a master's thesis under the joint guidance of Dr. Federico Ardila and Dr. Matthias Beck. My research project explores error correcting codes, which can generally be defined as the effective communication between two parties. This then brings the general question of, how can we guarantee that a message is sent and received properly? Hamming codes, a type of error correcting code, first encodes a message by adding parity bits to secure it. After the transmission process, Hamming codes go through the decoding process, which is responsible for detecting and correcting up to one bit of error. While the literature demonstrated the Hamming code through set theory, it did not formally explain how Hamming codes are described through set theory. This is something I worked to fill in. I also explored applications that use concepts of the Hamming codes to reveal that the scope of error correcting codes go beyond the traditional uses. And with a bit of creativity, there are real world applications beyond the traditional uses. My first investigation looked at optimizing a message or data being sent for a set number of parity or check bits. I noticed a pattern where for n added check bits, there is an optimal code word length of two to the n minus one. Interestingly, it turns out that set theory only explained Hamming codes of these optimal code word lengths. The block on the right is an example of a property that I was able to prove using topics in graph theory. This is of course a property of Hamming codes. I also made connections between the properties of Hamming codes and a game called the hat problem as indicated on the left block. This allowed me to compute the probability of losing or winning a game, which is dependent on the number of players. The final thing I achieved in this research is finding a new application that uses topics and error correcting codes. This new application is, takes the form of a card trick. The idea is that the magician correctly guesses the card on the grid that was flipped by the audience. This completes a short summary of my research. Thank you.